You're going to need to know how to convert from um, binary to decimal and vice versa, but you're also going to need to know how to work with hexadecimal and convert from binary to hexadecimal and vice versa and to decimal and all these different counting systems. So I'm going to do a short lecture on, on how to make that easy for you. Okay, if you want to learn how to use hexadecimal, um, one of the difficulties is that we're so used to using uh, the decimal counting system. We're so used to using a base 10 counting system that if we try to switch to binary or hexadecimal, it's difficult at first. So if you want to learn how to do it easily, the best way to do it is to go back to how you learned how to count when you were a kid. So up here, I've got um, 10 to the 0, 10 to the 1, 10 to the 2, 10 to the 3, and these are the place values for base 10 decimal system, right? 10 to the 0 is the 1's place, 10 to the 1's the 10's place, 10 to the 2 is the 100's place, and 10 to the 3rd power is the 1000's place. So, if I wanted to write a number like 184, I'd need 1 100, I'd need 8 10's, and I'd need four ones, and I'd have the number 184. Now, this is so ingrained and taught to us from such an early age that we don't even think about it, but it's actually um, important if we want to learn other counting systems. So for binary, binary is actually um, pretty, is pretty darn easy. We've got uh, uh, powers of two. Um, the place values. So here's 2 to the 0 is the 1's place, 2 to the 1 is the 2's place, 2 to the 2 is the 4's place, 2 to the 3 is the 8's place, and so on and so forth. And if we um, wanted to say, let's say, write a number like 11, I, I only have four place values here, so I'm just going to do the number 11, then I'd need 1, 8, I'd need zeros in the 4's place, and I'd need a uh, 1 in the 2's place, and I'd need a 1 in the 1's place, and now I'd have the number 11 in binary, right? And that brings up another, um, another important distinction between um, decimal versus binary, and that is the fact that in a base 2 system, and I'm over here right now, you only have, the reason it's base 2 is you only have two characters or two numbers, 0 or 1. So I only put 0 or 1's in the place values here, right, to, um, to, to have my number. Um, but in base 10, we have 10 different characters, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so base 2, 2 characters, 0 and 1. Base 10, 10 characters, 0 to 9. And so over here, you can see that I've plugged in those characters. All right, now, hexadecimal. Hexadecimal is base 16, okay, so we have 16 characters. We have 0 to 9, and then we have A, B, C, D, E, and F. And A is a 10, B is an 11, and let's say F is a 15, right? So it goes from basically 0 to 15 with A, B, C, D, E, and F as 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So those are your characters, or essentially your numbers, for a base 16 system. But aside from that, it works just the same as a decimal or binary system, we have place values. So we have 16 to the 0 power is the 1's place, 16 to the 1 is the 16's place, 16 to the 2 is 16 times 16, or the 256th place, and 16 to the 3rd power is 4096, right, 4096, 16 times 16 times 16. Now, the key is in um, in this type of uh, conversions that you're going to see on your certification exams is to be able to uh, switch between um, decimal or convert between let's say decimal to hexadecimal. So um, let's talk about how we can do that easily and give you a few tricks on on how to make that happen uh, quickly. Okay, so for instance I've written 184 here in decimal. If I want to write 184 in hexadecimal, I'm going to follow the same um, the same system. How many 4,096s will I need? None. How many 256s will I need? None. But how many 16s will I need? Well, I'm going to need some 16s, right? Well, if I 11, uh, let's see here, 11 times 16, right, is 6, 1, 6, 1, 
is 176. So I'm going to need 11 sixteens. But I don't write 11, I write B. So I'll put a B in here, because a B stands for 11 in hexadecimal notation, right? So that's 176. Now, how many powers of 1 will I need? Well, to reach 184, I need 8 ones. So I'll put 8 here. So in hexadecimal, and you'd write this, you'd see this written like this, x, b8, or 0x, b8, or it'll be written maybe like b, 8, h for hex. But a b8, essentially, is 184 equals 184. I'm not sure if that's on camera or not. 184 in decimal is b8 in hexadecimal. Now, if I wanted to write that in binary, I need to have my place values go a little farther. So my place values in binary are, and I'll do this in black, 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1. Those are the place values, with this being 2 to the 0 in the 1's place, and this being 2 to the 7th in the 128th place. So, in binary, if I want to write 184, how many 128s will I need? Well, I'll only need 1. How many 64s? 0. How many 32s? 1. Now I have 128 plus 32 is 160. Right? How many 16s? 1, there's 176. How many 8s? 1, that's 184. So this is going to be a 0, and this is going to be a 0, and this is going to be a 0. So 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0 is 184 in binary. And so now we've written 184 in um, three different counting systems. Now, one thing that's going to be um, it's pretty useful is how to uh, a trick for doing this quickly. So, especially this is good for a larger number. But uh, another trick that you can that you can use is taking an eight bits and and in computers everything happens. It seems like a lot of things happen, and not everything, but a lot of things happen in eight bits at a time or one byte at a time, right? Well, if we take these 8 bits right here, right, and we divide them into what's called two nibbles, right, and two nibbles would be four, four bits each. So we take these two, these uh, 8 bits, and one, two, three, four, and we divide them in half, right, into four bits, right, we can treat each four bits separately. So instead of being the 128's place, the 64's place, the 32, 16, te uh, treat each four bits, even though we have eight bits total, just treat them as four, four bits each. So in other words, this would be the, the 8's place, the 4's place, the 2's place, and the 1's place. And this would be the 8's place, the 4's place, the 2's place, and the 1's place, right? And if we do that, right, we can then count each one separately. In other words, these four bits, right, four bits, well, let's count them up. An 8, a 2, and a 1 equals an 11, right, and an 11 in hexadecimal is a B, okay? 11 in hexadecimal is a B. And if we take these four bits, an 8, 4, 2, 1, we've got an 8, we've got no 4, no 2, no 1, so this is an 8, then we just write that as an 8. And now we've got our B8. So we could take in binary 8 bits, divide them into chunks of 4 bits, and we can easily convert 4 bits to our hexadecimal character. Now why is that? Well, 4 bits, okay, is 16 values. In other words, 2 to the fourth power equals 16, right? 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. So each, uh, each character in a hexadecimal system is the equivalent of 4 bits, 
right? Because of the values 0 to 15, let's say. All right? So 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 15, but if you had all zeros here, you'd have 0. So you have to count from 0 to 15 for a total of 16 values. Anyway, this is a neat trick and it'll help you a lot on your certifications by taking 8 bits, dividing into chunks of 4 bits, and then easily converting to a um, hexadecimal number. And you can do that vice versa as well.